Hey everyone, this is going to be for all signs. Remember, only take what resonates, okay? You have revenge. That's the first card. It kind of just like flew out. You guys may be dealing with somebody who like tries to like get back at you. You have forbidden. Wow. Memories, dating. I feel like you guys are, maybe you guys are not with this person anymore. Okay, it's like this is forbidden. I do feel like you have some good times that you think back upon with this person, but there might be more bad than good. Whatever this is, I feel like this person might be a little bit like upset that you are moving on, that you consider them forbidden. You literally have the betrayed card on the bottom of the deck over here. So I do feel like, you know, and it's like this person knew what they were doing. Okay, and now that you are like, choosing yourself now that you're putting yourself first now that you're moving on and moving forward this person's really upset okay and it's like they want to like pay back or it's like mental health issues this is somebody who deals with a lot okay and it's like they may make their problems your problems right cursing themselves wow so this person, they caused a lot of negativity in your life. And I do feel like this person is kind of receiving some type of um, karma, okay? Some type of payback. You have toxic love, as I'm saying this. Like, this is somebody, before I even started this reading, too, in my other deck, you had the toxic card that came out. But obviously, I wasn't doing the reading yet, so I didn't keep it out. I do feel like this is somebody who is pissed off that you've moved on right you've moved on they're pissed off and now it's like they're trying to get you back or win you back but it's like no matter what they do i don't see that you are going to give this person another chance because i feel like it could have taken you a lot for you to even walk away and once you did you were done when you're done you're done right the eight of swords this person kept you trapped they could have been somebody that really, like, put you down all the time, made you feel really bad. They could have gotten a lot of attention from a lot of people. They could have been, like, an attention seeker, created a lot of drama. I do feel like they had family issues, okay, that they were suffering from. And I do feel like they could have also prevented you from seeing your family, okay? In the past, I do feel like this was very toxic. Like, you were not getting your needs met. Like, you felt alone. You felt like this person didn't understand you. It's like they were just trying to keep you trapped, okay? I feel like you're moving on from this, though. This person de definitely cannot let go of you. It's like, I'm clarifying the revenge card. The Nine of Swords. The Moon. The Two of Pentacles. It's like they're trying to mess things up for you. They might be, like, spreading rumors and lying about you and saying all these negative things, like... They took my money, they did this, I took care of them, blah, blah, blah. Like, this, even if they didn't, it's like this person's over here telling people that they took care of you. And I don't, I think this person could be like a bit of a, like a pathological liar I'm hearing, okay? You have the world in the Ace of Cups. You started over. You all, like I said, you might be out there dating. And this person, I feel like if this person was to see you with somebody, they may try to mess things up the justice card in reverse they're gonna act like it's unfair i feel like this person feels like it's unfair because they feel like they were there for you and now you're not there for them but this person could be a narcissist okay the ten of wands they put a lot of blame on you they put a lot of things on your shoulders where are you at the knight of cups the hierophant and the page of swords you're not fucking around. You made a promise to yourself and you're sticking to it. I feel like you're able to see what's coming in the future now. It's like you're not looking back at all. I feel like you're more looking into the future and what's going on now, right? What you can create for yourself. I do feel like maybe you've questioned yourself if you made the right decision by moving forward. But deep down, I feel like you already know that you did. I just feel like there is some feelings in here. Like, I do feel like you still care about this person. You want the best for them. I do feel like you want them to heal. You have the lover's card as I'm saying all this. It's on the bottom of the deck. I don't even know. I do feel like there's a lot of love here. But I just feel like this could have been something really good. But this person chose not to change. And I feel like they chose not to get help with the mental health issues. The nine of pentacles in reverse. This person was not confident. They could have relied on you. They could have been very codependent. 
with the hermit. This is something that made you guys see things differently. This is somebody who feels like they're lost, like a lost soul to me. And I feel like this person, you know, when they had you in their life, it was like, even though they didn't treat you right, it was like you were something that they knew that somebody that would always be there for them. Well, at least they thought, right? And I feel like this person realizes now that they've kind of messed up the hangman. They've kind of taken advantage of you. They've walked all over you. And so it's like they need to, they don't want you moving on at all. <laughs> I could definitely see that. The Ten of Cups, the Five of Swords, they don't really want you to be happy. They want you to be with them. This, is going, this isn't going to resonate for any everybody. This is going to resonate for somebody who is like their ex cannot walk away from them. They won't leave them alone. The high priestess. You guys know if this is meant for you. And the king of cups. This could be somebody who is overly emotional or overly like um, sensitive. And they could get pissed off pretty easily. The tower. They created a lot of things falling apart. Like, I keep on feeling like they've held you back from family or from being able to be around your friends. I feel like this was somebody who was very toxic. But now I feel like it's like this person may not even really come in your mind like that. I feel like you guys are just totally, like, moving forward. This person hasn't because they are still in your energy. Yeah, separation, sadness, missing you. You see what I'm saying? Like, this person and hand of cards, risky. You know, being strategic. It's like this person's like, I know that you guys feel like this person's too risky, but this is somebody who's going to come back again and again. Heartbroken. Yeah, you move forward. What's coming in for you? The King of Pentacles. You have somebody that's coming in that's very reliable. Somebody that's sturdy. Somebody that can hold their own weight, right? You have somebody that's coming in that is going to be financially responsible too as well. This is somebody who kind of has a good head on their shoulders. You have four of wands, which is 1111. It's a new door opening up for you. It could be a uh, twin flame. You have the two of swords as I say that too. So I do feel like the per you might have a choice here, too. You guys might be dating, and maybe you guys are talking to more than one person. I don't feel like you're talking to this person anymore, but I do feel like there's going to be a choice where in the future you're going to have to make between two different people. And the Ace of Wands, I feel like you guys are going to go where you feel more, you know, of this spark, this energy, this chemistry. The Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, it could be like a brand new person coming in for you. The magician that you've manifested, okay? This is somebody who has everything that you're looking for. This is somebody who's very smart. This is somebody... So you got the king of pentacles, the king of swords, and the six of pentacles for this person's energy, right? So this is somebody who you can rely on what they say. They're very honest. They're very truthful. This is somebody who will help you if you need help. I feel like all you have to do is ask. This is somebody who's like a stand-up person. And that's what I feel like you were looking for in this person that this person just couldn't give you. Because I feel like they were looking for that in you. You know? I feel like this person from the past, you were their strength. You were their rock. And now it's like you're meeting somebody who is, you know, going to be that for you. You could, of course, be that for them too. But it's going to be equal. Six of Pentacles. It's going to be balance here. You know? You have the Page of Cups. This could be something that you feel like is coming. You guys might be like daydreaming a lot. You guys might be actually manifesting this because you're always envisioning yourself with like a new person, somebody who treats you right, living a better life. I feel like because you're creating it in your mind, you're able to create it into your reality. And I feel like you guys are manifesting, you know, a true love. Ace of Swords, which is like, you know, somebody who's authentic. And you have the Chariot card too as well. So it's like, this is somebody that... You know, it's going to flow. Everything is going to be like smooth sailing with this person. And with the Ace of Swords, this is somebody who's very authentic. Like I said, they're very clear about things. This person's not a liar. Okay, so. And the Emperor. This person's very, very strong 
energy, a very protective energy to, to them. They could even be like a cop. You got the Judgment card, the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Emperor. Either they're a cop, a boss, they own their own business, or a teacher, or a leader of some sort. Even if not, they're just a very strong, powerful presence. And I feel like this is somebody who knows who they are, right? And this is somebody who makes decisions with good judgment. So this is not going to be somebody that you end up getting in a relationship and then they pull back on. Like, this is not going to be somebody who, you know, jumps into things without thinking. I'm going to get a message from the person from the past. The Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords. The Knight of Wands. This is somebody who just can't keep it together. Okay? I feel like this is somebody who's suffering... They're, they're, they got depression or anxiety or people just don't trust. I don't feel like they surround themselves with the right people. And so it's very hard for this person to heal. And all this person focuses on, on all the negative things. And I feel like this person's just like, I don't know if they see the damage that they've caused because they have a blindfold on, right? And the Seven of Swords is avoidance. And then you have the Knight of Wands, somebody who's very inconsistent back and forth. Then this card over here keeps them. I keep on looking at it. It's a secret stash. So this person might have a lot of secrets, or it's like you never know what you're gonna get with this person. So the message from this person is just that I feel like they are still the way that they were in the past. Um, the Seven of Cups. They're still confused. If this person was a cheater, they could still have many other people that they're talking to. They're still all up in their head. And you have the Queen of Swords. Like, this person could be really angry at you because they feel like they missed out on an opportunity. It's like this person thought they were going to be able to keep you forever. And, you know, you chose yourself. And this person's not happy with that. I'm going to get one more card. And then I am going to end this. You have slipped away. <laughs> so even though this person couldn't keep you and didn't treat you right, didn't show you that they saw how important you were in their life, like you're always going to be like number one to them. Okay? I just feel like this person has a lot of unhealed trauma and they are not doing anything to make themselves better. And I don't feel like this person, you know... They could be malicious, but I don't think why they do the things that they do is because it's malicious. I feel like it has to do with something from their past that they have never let out or never healed from. And so it's going to continue to be a problem in their life until they choose to do so. I feel like they rather block out their pain and not deal with it. So it says, though they never had you, to them you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances that they didn't take or they regret the things they did do or didn't do. And you have beauty and grace. They find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think somebody else is more deserving. This person knows that you know you deserve better than what they were giving you. They're just really pissed off at the fact that you've actually pulled yourself away from them and chose yourself this time because I feel like you didn't do that in the past, right? Look, as I pull from the middle of the deck, divorce is <laughs> the last card I'm going to pull. So it says dissolution of marriage or relationship or whatever. I just feel like you guys are just done. Things are just, you know, it's ended. And they know this, but they're not happy with it. So anyway, I hope this helps and I wish you guys the best and have a good day. Toodles.